In this subject, I would like to uh, address uh, giving users a comprehensive overview of all the interlocks around a piece, large piece of equipment. Uh, and so instead of interlocking one individual device, which occurs, as I've shown before, very comprehensively, uh, we can also manage interlocks at the unit level. So if we take a unit, for instance, this uh, reactor here, then it would be really nice if all the major interlocks are visible in one view and if that view gets built automatically. And that's one of the features that PCS7 offers with the software tool called Logic Matrix. Logic Matrix is a concept that uh, uses causes and effects. Causes are uh, conditions that are being monitored continuously. Uh, conditions can be complex. Uh, conditions can be two out of three measurements must cause uh, a failure to be detected or an, an offset to be detected. They can also monitor if these measurements stay within working range of each other, if they are each other's backup. So all these are being configured in one comprehensive place. So instead of having logic all the way around your application, there's going to be one place where you configure what is the reason to cause an interlock, and that's called a cause. Then on the other side of the matrix, so the causes are listed here horizontally, so you can see the list of causes as inputs. There is the effect. So in case a cause would uh, occur or become true, then one or more effects can be energized or de-energized. So pumps can stop, valves, vent valves can open, or other kind of uh, actions can take place by the system automatically. In between a cause and effect is a so-called intersection uh, logic equation, which decides if this happens, should we latch the effect and call the operator to take a corrective action? Or can we, do we only need to momentarily close something or fence something and then go back in the normal process? Now what we have done in PCS7 is we brought this whole uh, set of uh, detection of causes, showing what the effects are and the user interface to all of those to the HMI screen out of the box. So you configure it once in a compre one comprehensive place and then out of the box the whole visualization unfolds in front of the operator without any extra effort. So what you see here is an example of a cause and effect matrix. One effect is still active and requires a reset. And so uh, the user can click on the effect and perform a reset uh, to clear it. And that would then allow production to continue. Um, the other thing that uh, you see here is that all the rest of the causes and effects are all healthy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simulate a uh, value that is out of bounds, in this case a temperature, and that would cause a cause to be triggered. This particular cause, and so when the user would be interested in what can trigger my cause, they can open a dialogue in which they uh, get a detailed view of all the logic within the cause, automatically generated out of the configured logic. So what I did now is I uh, introduced a reason why the cause would become true. And one of the measurements is going uh, very high, maybe because of a short circuit or maybe because of a real measurement. Nevertheless, when that measurement goes up, uh, in the cause dialog, it's immediately visible that that measurement is triggering or has the potential to trigger a cause, and that would then trigger the effect. And, but in this case, you can see that uh, one of the three measurements that are being measured is going false. And since this is a two out of three cause, it's not enough to cause the effect to trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second condition within this cause to make it become true. So the second measurement now is undergoing its value change, and that will show you two things. One is the two out of three works, here, like here. But as soon as the second measurement reports a uh, process upset, the effect will be triggered. Uh, visible in the detailed view that I've popped up, but also, as you can see, in the list. And at any time, the user can then see in the list as well that the causes have resulted in an effect by the clear red color and the effect then performs certain actions by closing valves and things like that. So this way an operator always knows what's going on around my unit. Is everything healthy enough to keep producing? He can see details, he or her can educate themselves about the reasoning behind this, 
And of course, there's accompanying as the documentation possible in the system that gives the background. Why are we measuring three temperatures and triggering this? So how does this dialogue come in place? Is that a lot of engineering effort? Now, first of all, the whole presentation you see here occurs automatically. And the editor to use to configure these uh, matrices is also very comprehensive. So to show that, I go to my engineering station and I go to the project where I can find the object that we are looking at live as a configured item. And while it opens, you will see that it's an editor by itself. It allows you to create multiple of these uh, matrices and assign them to different process units and very easily modify delay times, uh, trigger conditions, and so on. All right, so with the logic matrix opened on the engineering station, we can see how easy it is to configure the uh, conditions for causes or, and the effects of these causes. So the matrix looks exactly the same as in the uh, graphical view to the operator. So you can actually have a conversation with operators or other people that know the process in the plant very deeply to design this. And if you go to a given condition, then uh, by double clicking on the condition or going to its properties, a user can see all the details. And there's a variety of options like delay times, two out of three, as I saw before. And of course, the configuration of all the analog and discrete input parameters, including all their limits that is available as a compact object in this matrix. At any point, you can define what kind of uh, correlation should happen between the cause and the effect in the intersection matrix. And then when you want to interrogate the effects deeper, you can uh, see those as well. Uh, where you, in the effects, you of course define what is being acted on if an interlock occurs. But you can also uh, define what kind of alarm should occur, what alarm text occurs there, and any delays that should happen on the effect as well. So with this, I give you a comprehensive overview of the very holistic one, one, one solution covers all possible interlock scenarios, gives a very comprehensive overview during engineering uh, and in the runtime to the operator to solve possible holdouts in the plant quickly and take corrective actions quickly uh, on this process.